Project 40 3D Color Tech. For this project, you will view these color diagrams of what look like machinery or engines, which are green, blue, yellow, and red using the 3D color glasses. If you look carefully, you will see how the red goes to the red pictures come to the front while the blue ones appear go to the back. The last of the 3D projects for now, Project 41, is 3D Color T-Rex. You will see a picture of a T-Rex in which the body parts are different colors. The head is red, the body is yellow, the legs are green, and the tail is blue. Looking through the 3D glasses, the head will appear come to the front, while the tail will appear go to the back due to their colors. Project 42, Automatic Light. We are going to use one of the smaller base grids and build this circuit. We're going to turn on the slide switch and the white LED will come on. I'm going to quickly point out the horn is not going to sound in this project because it is used as a resistor to control the current from the phototransistor. When I hold the circuit up to a bright light, my desk lamp, you'll see that the white LED turns off when I hold it at just the right angle. When light hits the phototransistor, the white LED turns off because resistance increases. When light to, cannot get to the phototransistor, the white LED comes on because resistance decreases. Or this type of circuit will act like acts like an automatic outdoor light, such as a street light or a parking lot light, which comes on at night and in dark conditions for safety, and then turns off during the day to save energy. Project 43. We'll use the same circuit as in the previous project, but we will mount it on two of the small base grids, which are mounted in a vertical position onto the larger base grid. We will use holders to mount the grids onto the big one. And here's the diagram to do that. The pegs will face out on all the boards and stabilizers will hold the top board onto the lower two ones. The circuit has the same principle as the one in the previous project. When we turn on the slide switch, the white LED will only come on when there is no light on the phototransistor. When I remove my hand, the white LED will turn off. Turn it on again and off. Project 44, automatic lights. We are going to use the same circuit as in Project 43, but we will make some modifications. We will be adding other lights to the smaller vertical grids and connect them to the main circuit using the jumper wires an overall view of the diagram for this circuit. And then here is how the pegs face. They face outward. And we will also have to connect a three snap wire on the second level in this project as what the diagram here shows. We'll use one snap wires and we will also raise the level of the white LED to level three. And now, when we turn on the slide switch and there's enough darkness, not only will the white LED come on, but the color LED will flash. And the light tunnel will come on. A little hard to see because of my reflection, but this effect is best viewed in a dark room. In this circuit, all the lights are on steadily with the light tunnel. So it gives you a pretty neat light show. You could place this circuit in your room 
and then when it gets dark outside, it will come on and produce a light show in your room. And then you can turn it off when you're ready to go to bed so you don't use up too much battery power. Project 45, Super Automatic Lights. We'll use the same circuit as in Project 44, but modify the connections to the light tunnel as shown in the diagram. Here's what the previous connections look like for the light tunnel in Project 44. And here's the general diagram, but we will make those, ch after we make those changes, we will turn on the slide switch and will the white LED come on and flash in darkness, the light tunnel will show a unique pattern. It has to be dark enough. I'm going to put my hand over the photo transistor for the best effects. And now the light, the lights on the light tunnel flash. They don't stay on continuously. This will make the light show more spectacular. Project 46, vertical light tunnel. We will use one small horizontal base grid and then one small vertical one for this project. We will build this circuit. I'm going to turn on the slide switch and you'll see a spectacular light show from the light tunnel. The good thing about this circuit is that you can have the light tunnel upright without having to tilt the circuit since it's on a vertically mounted grid. Project 47, vertical tri-color light tunnel. We are going to build this circuit, which also uses two small base grids, and we'll need two base grid supports to mount the vertical grid. And after assembling the parts according to this diagram and these instructions, we will put the circuit in a dimly lit area and turn on the slide switch. Now the light tunnel is on at a steady rate. Now all the LEDs of the light tunnel are on steadily. They do not flash. Project 48, vertical dual color light tunnel. We're going to use the same circuit as in Project 47, but we are going to remove one of the three two snap wires that are connected to the light tunnel. I am going to remove the one that powers the blue LEDs. Now only the red and green LEDs are on. I decide to remove the two snap wire connecting to the blue con uh, connector of the light tunnel because it is almost Christmas time and red and green are Christmas colors. Project 49, vertical single color light tunnel. We're going to use the same circuit as in Project 47, but we're going to remove two of the three two-snap wires that are connected to the light tunnel. I am going to remove the one on the left and the one on the right. Now, only the green LEDs are lit. The blue and red ones are off because the wires connecting that power them. The wires that I remove power them. I chose to leave the green LEDs on because green is my favorite color. And so it's an all green light show.